Welcome back to another award-winning episode of Urban Grind Radio, award y'all. Winning, award Ooh, say it again, winning, say it again. Award-winning, award-winning. Yeah. It's your host, Ronnie Lyle, man. How y'all been? It's great to see you, or great to talk to y'all again. And over to my left, who do I have? Lucky Luciana Lucy. <laughs> hey. What up, Lucky? How you been? I'm good. I'm feeling great. How you, how you been? And now, of course, we're introducing our guest, Mr. Brandon. What up, though? What up, Brandon? How you feeling, man? Good. Welcome, welcome to uh, Urban Grind. Thanks it's good for having to, me. Great to have you on, man. Uh, so, so tell us a little about yourself, man. Start there. Um, real simple, man. Just a humble dude from Detroit. Just trying to grind with my squad. I'm trying to put them in position. You know what I'm saying? We next up. When you, when you say your squad, you mean who? ASR Consulting, Varsity Music Group, Doc Gang, Mason May. We in the building. Okay. We got a whole family, a whole team. I know, I know. Our studio is packed. Like, our studio is packed with with uh, with the squad, yo. It's, yes. it's awesome. <laughs> it definitely is. So, like, um, how did this come about? Like, what made you wanna put a team together? Um, just being a kid in the candy store, so to speak. Um, huge fans of both Dot and Chaz. Also, shout out our other member, uh, Sig Dollar, back home holding it down. Um, been following them. For years now, um, in our underground scene, I played many different roles. Um, at the time when I discovered them, mm-hmm. I was in a promoter journalist bag, like you guys. Um, a site, DetroitRap.com. Mm-hmm. Shout out Uncle P. Um, a platform called the Underground Hip Hop Awards that myself and P put together um, with Mighty John Entertainment. And um, a podcast that I have my own right called Four Corners, where I do ciphers and interviews. They kind of frequent all of those okay. things at different times yeah. as well as other open mics and showcases that I co-promoted with with other people. So I've kind of been seeing them in work for like the last three to five years. So how did you, how did you end up in the job of manager? Um, it's just really your functionality. Like I really don't, I kind of shy away from it, but for easy negotiation and networking, mm-hmm. it's just easy to just roll with that title a lot of times, but I prefer the term partner because sure. we all equal in terms of on the business side. So, okay. you know, I, I pride myself on education and business and making sure everybody understand right. that part because 90% of the game is that, 10% is talent. Not saying that talent's not important, but, right. you know, with software. And right, but there's so much other stuff. Glam Squad and all that stuff, you could to some degree create right. the talent if you want, but the business side as far as understanding, financing, and your ROI and right. you know what I'm saying, making sure publishing is straight, making sure back ends are straight. A lot of artists miss that. And so Yeah. So so what would you recommend for artists that are like trying to like come up with um and like and get the name in the into the scene? How do how would they get into like that kind of stuff? How would they find a good manager or work on their own management? Yes, that's a good question. Well first you gotta have something to manage, so um, <laughs> Fair in, enough. In the case of uh Dot and Charles, you know, they've been grinding for a minute, so it's not that necessarily they needed management, they just needed support. Right. And like I said, moving around, I'm manager some days, depending on the circumstance, I'm security. Some days I'm the bank, depending on the circumstance. Some right. days I'm the janitor, I clean up. You know, Some days I'm the camera guy, like it all depends on what's needed. So it was really no pride and ego. It's just right. about supporting them and making sure that they have what they need to get to that next level. And I think in the independent world, because people mimic what they see on social media right. and mass media and television. They get caught up in the hype of titles and roles and entourages and X, Y, and Z. But when you clear out all that noise, it's really just people playing their role. Like even just watching y'all in y'all production, like nobody's overstepping nobody. Everybody know who's supposed to be on the sound, who's supposed to be on the camera, who's supposed to be the welcoming committee, right, you know, right, who's supposed right. to do the photo ops. That structure, like y'all loose in terms of enjoying one another, but it's still structure. It's still structure. So whenever I walk in the room, that's the first thing I notice because I'm big on that. So it doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying, what time or what's going on, as long as you have that infrastructure and that structure and that foundation because it's going to keep you solid. Yeah, man, that's what's up. That, and that, you know, that's a, that's a really like in depth answer for everything, too. Bro, that's just me, bro. It really was, though. <laughs> It really, well, no, because like a lot of times, a lot of times, like when you ask artists about like 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 hard stuff like that, right? They're like, yeah, no, like I just do it all because I work and grind. It's like, no, nah, like 
okay, but tell me more about it. You're definitely on the grind. Yeah, you yeah, definitely. like you're on the grind. So, you 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 don't do music at all. It was do, just something um, that you like. You don't rap. You don't sing. No, no, no. I do. I, I write. I produce. I arrange. Oh. But oh, I don't so you, really. So, so you, you literally you, all round it. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, so you all in. Yeah. A lot I like of the, the hands uh, on. Okay. Hands on. Yeah. A lot of the themes and concepts and how the projects came together for both of them individually and collectively, you know, kind of came out of my, my head space, yeah. but it's all a collaborative effort. Right, you know right, right. So yeah. what I try to do is just provide the, the canvas and the right paintbrush because certain, you know, stories and certain textures and certain colors, you can't paint the same way. Yeah. Like, Chaz paint differently than Dot. Yeah. Chaz is more personal, more, you know, de delving deep in his biography and his life. Dot is more in your face. You know what I'm saying? Kind of been through it, so they got different styles, but they miss. Right. So it's about just having the right platform for them to draw. Okay, so um, how do you like? How do you like choose your your talent? Right, like right now you got you got Chaz and Dot, right? Yeah. Um, if you were to have to pick another artist or like come uh, start to manage another artist, how would you pick them? What would what would be your process and your elimination like? You gotta have a check, bro. Like, this game, let's, let's be real. Money talk. Right. So, I mean, we ain't got no bag. It really ain't nothing to talk about. You gotta have a bag first. And I could work with any bag, but you gotta have a bag first. Like, nothing is for free. Everything is, is to be sold. Mm -hmm. So, you gotta, a lot of, that's, don't get me started. I'm gonna <laughs> chill out, boy. No, 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 get started. Let's go. It's just frustrating because <laughs> a lot of dudes talk this hustle and bag talk. And then when you gotta start doing business, their pockets get tight. They assholes right. get tight. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It take money, you feel me? Like you gotta really, you gotta really have a bag. You ain't necessarily gotta be in the street with it, but you gotta have a bag, bro. And it ain't just about having a bag to show. You gotta have a bag to know where to spend it. Right. So you need to invest in your videography. You know what I'm saying? If you working with a GoPro, step it up and go get you a red camera. You know, okay. Spend that extra okay. five to ten bands. You know what I'm saying? If okay. you want a PC, go get you a MacBook. You know what I'm saying? If right. you want to know how to work Pro Tools and Cubase and Logic. You know what I'm saying? Go learn how to get those softwares and get your stuff together. Like, yeah. when I say I'm really in tune, like, I'm really in tune with this stuff. So, you can't just come and talk music and talk business and your bag ain't right. Because it, it just it take money. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes money will get you in doors where there's no relationship. Right. And then once you get in that door and you execute, they're going to respect you even more because now you know how to do the business and you brought the bag with you. Right. So, it just that's just real. So aside from the bag, what's what's a mistake you think a lot of young or like uh, uh, newer artists make? Capping on somebody else's stuff, holding somebody else's bag, holding somebody else's gun, holding somebody else's flag. I mean, I go on and on. Like, just be who you are. Like it's nothing. Like, that's the thing I miss about the '90s era of hip hop. Right. It was cool to be original. It was cool to tell somebody that was trash. You know what I'm saying? It, like that built character. Like, it's not enough bullies in hip-hop no more. Like, that builds character. Like, somebody telling you you whack builds character because it's going to make you go back home and work on it. Like, everything's accepted. Like, everybody gets an award now. But between Chaz and Dot, who's the bigger bully? Who's the bigger bully? It depends on the day. Chaz, he is what he eat. He's a jerk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just depends on the day. Dot, you know, she feisty, so she had her times when she ain't want to hear it. So it just depends on the day. I know, right? Because women, you know, <laughs> to keep the say, world rolling. You know, exactly. What can you say? What can you say? She's talented. I she like really her. is. Yes. And she fly. She came in looking good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, everybody looks good. And you got everybody here and they holding it down. You know what I'm saying? And, like, mm -hmm. that's a lot of personalities that you have to deal with alone. Oh, uh, man. That's, like, a, that's a whole they other thing. They're doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, that's all God, up. though. Like, it's not, I'm, I'm happy to meet Man. you. That's all God. No Man. no, no, no front on that. No no knock to what everybody else believe in. But I pray every morning. I do devotion every morning. So God first, you know what I'm saying? So Amen. all that credit Amen. go to him. Okay. Yeah. I'm with you on that. All right. So so tell us a little bit about uh, where our audience, where they can find you, where they can find information on everyone you manage, um, Chaz and, and Dot and all. Well, it's only uh, them right now. Like I said, we do got another partner, Sig Dollar. Right. But Chaz and Dot, the focus. Shout out my partner in right hand, Bishop, ASR, VMG. Shout out other mans at home, Bug. What up, though? Um, shout out the whole city, man. Uh, everybody supporting Hen House. Um, King Bula here, Jamal Shabazz. 
Shout out him, both DJ Showtime, shout them out, DJ V Dub, DJ Lip Gloss, coming to see y'all in a minute. Um, it's, um, we, we tied in a lot of people, but at Grind Life 313 on IG, aka Real Name No Gimmicks, B Scarb, um, www.westillrise.org on the internet, www.gang.net, www.dboysound.com. Um, no offense to anybody, what I said, just trying to you know, share a little light, speak a little truth. Mm -hmm. But, you know, money talks, bro. Real talk. Well, cool, man. Thank you so much for coming all the way down from Detroit, man. Or all the way. Yeah, down down from Detroit, right? Yeah. We're exactly. cool. down from Detroit. It's Coney Island. It's Coney Island, right. Thank you so much, man. It was a pleasure having you over here. No problem. Oh, shout out Wally, too, man. I, oh, of course. I rocks with Wally. I'm peeping in swag. We're going to do a lot of business, bro. I got some more checks for you. W Wally is the man. Okay. I, I, I already, I already, I already see he, he, he my flavor. I see the flavor in. Right. I, I already know what, what we gonna do. I already know it's already, it's already populated. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, thank you all for another for um tuning in for another award winning episode of Urban Grind Radio. Okay. Thank you to uh my wonderful co-host, Lucky Luciana Lucy. Okay. Thank you to uh Captain of the Ship. And of course, Wally and the, and the rest of the studio, thank you for tuning in. And remember, when you're on the grind, you listen to Urban Grind. What up, though? It's your man, B-Scar, a.k.a. Real Name, No Gimmicks. And you're now working with Urban Grind Radio. Shout out my guy, Wally.